Hassel Liquors, Inc., doing business as Hassel Liquor, 2306 Hassel Road. Can you call the roll, Madam Clerk? Commissioner McLeod? Present. Commissioner Newell? Present. Commissioner Gaeta? Present. Okay, we do have a quorum. Is the petitioner here? Is the petitioner present? Mm -hmm. You want to come on up? Just identify yourself for the record, sir. Name and address. Hi, I'm Ricky Patel, uh, 129 Linfield Lane, Schaumburg, Illinois. Okay. Um, are there any questions from the Liquor Commission? Trustee Gaeta, Commissioner Gaeta. Yes, on um, page four, that the uh, manager on site, as far as it's uh, fingerprinting. Yep. Has she been? What? Oh, yeah, Mike. Um, they have gone for fingerprinting. We haven't gotten it back from PD yet. Okay. But he has, they have two other liquor stores, so I would think that they're going to pass their fingerprinting. Okay. So um, if you want, when I get it back. They come over there and apply and so forth. They've done all that. Gotten, we just okay. haven't gotten the results yet back yet. So, But when they do, if you'd like, I'll go ahead and email it to you guys, the results. I would like that. Okay. Just to make sure. So does that mean we'll be voting at a board meeting at a later date on this since we don't have the uh, report back? They have gone, they have gotten them done early enough in advance. I don't know why we haven't gotten them back. Um, approve it with. Subject to. Subject to, yeah. Can I do that? Um, counselor, what do you think? You're the legal beagle here. <laughs> I'm not. Mike, Mike. correct. Here? Yes. Okay. Having met these gentlemen and being aware that they have been, in fact, approved in other jurisdictions, I would agree that you could do a conditional approval tonight subject to us receiving from our own police department, <clears throat> excuse me, evidence that you have successfully passed the fingerprinting and background check. Okay. So they wouldn't open until we were in receipt of that. Correct, and okay. I, th I think we're safe to say with the construction going on, you're not opening anytime soon. No, that is correct. Okay. Are there any questions from the public about? Yes, I. I yes, ma'am. Can you come up and identify yourself, name and address for the record? Yeah. So um, I'm Jill Malodak, and I live in the uh, Glenet Blackberry Creek complex. And um, I really oppose a liquor store going there because, first of all, the 7-Eleven has liquor. And um, the Neighborhood Inn, of course, has liquor. And I've lived here for 17 years, and I notice along Hassel Road, there's nothing but empty liquor bottles, you know, as I walk around the neighborhood. Um, the noise from both the Neighborhood Inn as well as Richard Garcia's from Barrington Square Mall, which is another bar, is really keeps me awake at night. I've had to call the police. People cut through the uh, Galena Professional Park, which is in right in back of the complex, and it's caused a lot of noise. And I've I've noticed more crime. Like I said, I've lived here 17 years, so I feel like that's a lot of liquor in a very small um, small acreage in my neighborhood and it, it and plus the parking problem now that they redid the 7-eleven parking lot the neighborhood inn has hardly any parking i'm not sure where all that parking is going to occur but i really feel like it's really going to damage the neighborhood and the community surrounding community thank you for your comments sir anyone else have any comments they'd like to make at this point the chair would accept yeah Oh, okay. Hi. Come up. Give us your name and address for the record. <laughs> Hi, my name is Amit Patel, and I'm uh, representing 7-Eleven. Um, and uh, I just have a concern, like, the liquor store next door to me is uh, literally putting out of putting me out of the business. We are here since last 35 years, and I'm here more than 17 years. We serving to community. Um, as a last year, last month we gave away like 2,000 cup of Slurpee and uh, uh, we supporting Barrington Square Improvement Association, local association, which is 2,500 homeowners. 
We support there all, uh, almost all the events, also supporting uh, local organization and the schools if they need support too. And last year, uh, you got uh, Ricky Rocket, that gas station, they also got a liquor license. It hurts my business and there is a road construction since last year going on on the highway and Hassel Road. Uh, it also hurts me and now if the liquor store comes next to me, I literally go out of business. So is it uh, viable to get someone in new to in cost of someone old? Um, thanks for giving me your time and I think I hope you do right what is right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anyone else? I got one thing. Uh, go, go the, you have to go to the microphone, sir. In Schaumburg, they have a liquor store next to the 7-Eleven for a long, long time. Another one in Carpenter, they have a next to the 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven is not a liquor store, first thing. 7-Eleven is just the fast food or whatever. But the liquor store is completely different. Liquor store, we not allow the under 18, first thing, or we cannot allow under the 21. And parking problem, we don't have a parking lot because we have a lot of parking problem, plus people are not going to stay over there. They're going to stay in and out, you know. And we are watch everybody under age. We check the ID. So we, I don't think you have any problem with that. Okay, is there anyone else who wants to offer any comments? Seeing none, the uh, chair would accept a motion to release a license to the petitioner. Is there a motion? So moved. Is there subject, subject to um, the, subject. the background Sub check right. going coming out okay? Yes. Okay, is there a second? Mm -hmm. Motion a second. Uh, can you pull the board, Madam Clerk? Commissioner McLeod? Aye. Commissioner Newell? Aye. Commissioner Gaeta? Aye. Motion carried. Chair would accept a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Motion to second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, the ayes have a motion carried. Thank you all. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Are we ready? Yeah, I got 702. Ten. We're all good, yeah. I'd like to call to order the uh, August 7th, 2017 Transportation and Road Imp Improvement Committee meeting. Would the secretary please call the roll. Chairman Mills. Present. Vice Chair Stanton. Present. Trustee Arnett. Present. Trustee Newell. Present. Trustee Palafis. Present. Trustee Gata. Present. Mayor McLeod. Present. <coughs> Thank you. At this time, I'd look for a motion to um, adjourn, recess. recess this meeting, and to follow and going into the board meeting. I'll make a motion to recess. Second. All those in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. We are adjourned right now. <coughs> we are recessed. Okay. Like, call the. Um First meeting of the month of August. Order. Can you call the roll, Madam Clerk? Trustee Gata. Present. Trustee Arnett. Present. Trustee Mills. Present. Trustee Newell. Present. Trustee Palafis. Present. Trustee Stanton. Present. Mayor McLeod. Present. Can uh, PAC 297 present the colors? <coughs> Everybody, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance.
color guard attention. Audience, please rise. May the audience please ride. Color guard, advance. Color guard, advance. Salute or place your hand over your heart. Salute or place your hand over your heart. Cross the colors. Now, Pledge of Allegiance. Now, Pledge of Allegiance. Color Guard, post the colors. Color Guard, post the colors. Please join me in the pledge. Please join me in the pledge. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Two. Color guard about face. Color guard about face. Color guard advance. Color guard advance. Dismissed with our thanks. Color guard dismissed with our thanks. You know, I'll be seated. I want to thank uh, Hack 297 for presenting. The colors are going to stick around. They're going to be recognized for some other activities they did. Moved on to uh, item three, recognition of the audience. This is the time if anybody has a question or concern or something they want to bring before the board, now's the time to bring it forward. Once, twice, three times we'll move on. If, with the consent of the board, I'd like to go down to president's report and we'll deal with the uh, swearing in of the officers and the uh, citizens award and all the proclamations, if that's okay. Is there consensus fine. on that? That's fine. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Chief. Yes, sir. You have something to do here, Chief? <laughs> uh, Mayor and Village Board, the uh, Police Department's proud to bring before you today four officers to be sworn in. Um, Sergeant Kasha Cauley to be sworn into Lieutenant. Sergeant Officer Scott Lawrence to be sworn into Sergeant. And Joseph Jennings to be sworn into Probationary Police Officer and Gary Jones to be sworn in for probationary police officer. Sergeant, Sergeant Cawley. Busy night for you, Chief. Yes, it is. <laughs> Everybody hear me? Come on. Sergeant, through the Lieutenant Cawley, you want to introduce the uh, folks you're with here? Yes, this is, oh, this is my daughter, Danny. This is my husband, Jim, who most of you know. My mom is here. Uh, my dad cannot be here tonight, but that's my family. The mic is not Great. on. It's not on, I don't think, right? <laughs> no. Which is fine. Which is fine. <laughs> I'll just talk really loud. Is that now? Yep. No. 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 Come on, Rick. <laughs> one, two. One, two, one, two. Why don't you introduce everybody again, Kasha? <laughs> this is my daughter, Danny. My mom, Louise, and my husband, Jim. Great, great. So are you ready? I'm ready. OK. I, Catherine Cawley. I, Catherine Cawley. Having been appointed to the office. Having been appointed to the office. Of police lieutenant. Of police lieutenant. In the village of Hoffman Estates. In the village of Hoffman Estates. In the county of Cook and Kane. In the county of Cook and Kane. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear or affirm. I will support the Constitution. I will support the Constitution of the United States. The United States. The Constitution. The Constitution of the State of Illinois. Of the State of Illinois. That will faithfully discharge the duties. I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of the office of police lieutenant. Police lieutenant. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Thank you.
Y'all have drawn quite a crowd here. I have a very wonderful badge that says Lieutenant Hoffman Estates Police, Illinois. Who's going to? My daughter. Okay, great. Good job, I've never seen anybody do it that fast. Walk and shake hands with everybody. Pasha, can you stay though? You want to get the two chiefs up here? Get a picture? You're never going to chief. There we go. One, two, three. One more. One, two, three. That's great. Thank you. Great. <laughs> Scott, you want to come on up here with your family? Not done yet, Chief? No. Oh. Okay. Okay. Hey, Scott. Okay, you want to introduce everybody you got here, Scott? It's my wife, Melinda. My lovely wife, Melinda. <laughs> <laughs> Daughter, Katie. Uh, Dylan, my son. Uh, my oldest boy, uh, Austin, and my middle son, Jake, and me. <laughs> it's easy to figure out why he's being promoted. <laughs> okay, let's do this, Scott. Hi, Scott Lawrence. Hi, Scott Lawrence. Haven't been appointed to? Haven't been appointed to. The Office of Police Sergeant. The Office of Police Sergeant. In the Village of Hoffman Estates. In the Village of Hoffman Estates. In the County of Cook and Cane. In the County of Cook and Cane. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. The Constitution of the State of Illinois. The Constitution of the State of Illinois. That I will faithfully discharge. I will faithfully discharge. The duties of the office. The duties of the office. Of Police Sergeant. Of Police Sergeant. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my abilities. Congratulations, Sergeant. I have this wonderful badge as a sergeant, Hoffman Estates Police, Illinois. Who is going to pin the badge on you, Sergeant? Uh, Melinda, my wife. Dylan, Dylan's going to do it. <laughs> Nobody wants to do this. No. <laughs> you don't want me doing it. <laughs> we have paramedics here. Don't worry. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Excellent job, Sergeant. Congratulations. <laughs> hey, go on up there. Take hands with me. Everybody, no. <laughs> you gotta make this up too. You gotta share the day, Sergeant. Yeah, the 
Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. Wish you wouldn't have came in. You're too tall. Here we go. One, two, three. Here we go again. One, two, three. Thank you. Can we get the two chiefs in uh, with the Scott here? Oh, those shiny badges up there. All right, here we go. One, two, three. One more. One, two, three. Good. Thank you. Come on up, and we'll get a picture of the two of you together. Right, don't go too far. Yeah, don't go too far. <laughs> Come back up, hey. We do like our pictures. <laughs> <laughs> he has to pick you up. High five. Here we go. One, two. <laughs> One more. One, two, three. Great. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Gary Jones, you want to come on, come on up with your family? We're not done yet, Chief. No, sir. Oh, my halfway goodness. There. Okay, we're only halfway there. Whoa. Gary, come on up. Who do you have with you here, Gary? I have my family. This is uh, my father, Gary, my sister, Melanie, and my mother, Marsha. Great. Welcome to all of you. Look great in the uniform. You ready? Okay. Hi, Gary Jones. Hi, Gary Jones. Have been employed to the office. A probationary police officer. In the village of Hoffman Estates. In the county of Cook and Kane. To solemnly swear or affirm. swear. I will support the Constitution. I will support the Constitution. Of the United States. The Constitution. Of the State of Illinois. That will faithfully discharge. The duties of the office. Of probationary police officer, probationary police officer, according to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Congratulations, officer. <laughs> police department does have nice badges. This one says Pro Patrol Officer Hoffman Estates Police. Number 288, who's going to pin you? My father is. Okay, come on, Dad. Excellent. Want to shake hands with everybody? I think they all must have practiced. They're all pretty good at that. Joseph Jennings, you want to come on up, your family? Thanks, Chief. Joe brought his own army with him here. 
All the way from Alaska. Yep. Hey, Jerry, you want to introduce everybody to... Uh... I have my parents, Dan and Cindy, uh, my brother and his wife, Kara and Nick, uh, my godson, Jacob, my niece, Emma, and my brother, Dan, and his wife, Brittany. Very good. Welcome to all of you. Okay, ready, Joe? I, Joseph Jennings. I, Joseph Jennings. Having been appointed, appointed to the office of, the office of probationary, police officer probationary police officer in the village of Hoffman Estates, village of Hoffman Estates. in the county of Cook and Cane, to solemnly swear or affirm, solemnly swear. I will support the Constitution, I will support the Constitution. of the United States, the, United States. The, Constitution the Constitution of the state of Illinois, state of Illinois. that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office, the of, the office. A a probationary police officer, according to the best of my ability. Congratulations, officer. One more very nice badge, which many of your colleagues out here are wearing here. So who's going to pin it on, Joe? Uh, my godson and brother. Great. Can you, even for all those insults over the years, right? Everybody in here. Come on, Kasia. This whole party. Gary? That's a stuff. You're on your picture. I got Kasia. Good. All right. Let's see here. I get everybody in. There we go. Okay, got it. Ready? One, two, three. One more. One, two, three. All right. Great. Thank you. You did, thank you. Sorry. Get started it again in a minute. Okay, 
Okay, is Cup Scout Pack 297 still here? Yes, All right. You folks want to come on up by the microphone there? Exactly. <laughs> That's amazing. That's better than I've done doing that. You did a great job. But we want to thank uh, PAC 297, including Ben Ruiz, Ethan Shore, Aish Watker, Jack Neal, Cameron Hoover, Austin Garcia, Brandon Braden Garcia, Ronan Olenes, Eloisia P. Roy, and Simon Weber. We we'll recognize you on August 7th, year 2007, in recognition of your enthusiastic participation in the village's 2017 Northwest Celtic Fest by assisting your fellow PAC members with the Fest Children Games and Activities. Your dedication to Scup Top Pack 297 and the Village of Hope's residents and visitors are to commended. I want to thank every single one of you. So thank you very much, gentlemen. <laughs> Why don't you sit around and get a picture? Hey, you guys want your plaques for the picture? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Where's Simon? Simon here? Simon yes. here? Where's Simon? Elijah here? There you go. Ronan? He's not here. Okay, you take that one. Braden Garcia? I'm here. Okay. okay. Austin Garcia? <laughs> All righty. All right, good deal. Cameron Hoover? There you go. Take their picture. It's okay. Jack Neal? Bananas. You like bananas? Oh, okay. I do too. I do too. Ayush Watker? Watker? Ayush. Okay. Ethan Shore? No. Okay, and Ben Ruiz. Okay, Ben? Okay, let's get these pictures here. All right, guys. <laughs> Face them towards me, guys. Plenty of pictures. Let's see them. Beautiful. All right, here nice we go. Smile. Ready? Please One, nice. two, three. Jake, stand up. Everybody yeah. standing up tall and smiling, please. One, two, three. And one more for good measure. Everybody look at my forehead. Where's my forehead? You see it? One, two, three. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Good job, guys. 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 Good job, I do have one resignation. It's Tom Kretler from the Planning and Zoning Commission. Is there to accept a motion? Moved to accept with regret. Second. Motion a second. Tom served us since 2001. Not as long as some of the folks up here, but a very long time. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. We thank Tom for his service. Um, we do have some uh, proclamations to oh, okay. do here. Do we want to go back to the committees? Or? No, we've got the library. Oh, okay. Okay. We'll do the proclamations. Who's got uh, the first one? Uh, I do. Of course. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Office of the Mayor Proclamation. Whereas the sport of baseball is a national pastime, and whereas the United States Conference of Mayors and Major League Baseball has come together to recognize August as Play Ball Month, and whereas Play Ball Month encourages families and communities to participate in the game of baseball, thus creating a sustainable enthusiasm for the game, and whereas cities across the country will be coming together during the month of August to support the growth of baseball, and whereas the sport of baseball has produced countless family and community bonding experiences, and whereas the sport of baseball has taught our youth valuable life lessons of teamwork, perseverance, leadership, and sportsmanship, and whereas the sport of baseball has formed a diverse culture showcasing a snapshot of where America stands today, and whereas we recognize the importance and influence of the sport of baseball in the village of Hoffman Estates, Illinois, be it therefore resolved that William D. McLeod, acting under and by virtue of the authority vested in him by the Constitution of the State of Illinois, 
and laws of this village of Hoffman Estates hereby proclaims August 2017 as National Play Ball Month in the village of Hoffman Estates and urges all residents and businesses of Hoffman Estates and surrounding suburbs to join in its observance. Chair will accept a motion. So moved. A second. Motion a second. Uh, baseball is a great game. I appreciate uh, Trustee Stanton throwing out the first ball at the Cannon Crossing for an event. And uh, I actually did it at the Boomer Stadium, and I actually got it over the plate, not over the catcher's head. So <laughs> very <laughs> you, proud of that. You it, did it better was low, than I but did. It, it went over the plate. <laughs> so. And we'll get this to our partridge All those in favor say aye. 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 Pose the ayes have a motion carried. Who is next? <laughs> Whereas August 9th is National Book Lovers Day. Books play such an important part in our world, allowing us to visit exotic lands, travel back in time, and experience life through someone else's eyes. And we get all of this for free through our local library. And whereas reading can result in boredom or transcendence, rage or enthusiasm, depression or hilarity, empathy or contempt, depending on who you are and what the book is and how your life is shaping up at the moment you encounter it. And whereas reading literature is a way of reaching back to something bigger and older and different. It can give you the feeling that you belong to the past as well as the present. And it can help you realize that your present will someday be someone else's past. And whereas readers are active participants in the world around them, and that engagement is critical to individual and social well-being. And whereas evidence suggests that children who read for enjoyment every day not only perform better in reading tests than those who don't, but also develop a broader vocabulary, increase general knowledge, and a better understanding of other cultures. And whereas you are only limited by what you can imagine, and the worlds described in books, as well as other people's views and opinions, will help you expand your understanding of what is possible. Be it therefore resolved that William D. McLeod, acting under and by virtue of the authority vested in him, by the Constitution of the State of Illinois and laws of this village of Hoffman Estates, hereby proclaims Wednesday, August 9th, 2017, as National Book Lovers Day in the village of Hoffman Estates and urges all residents and businesses of Hoffman Estates to join in its observance by visiting local libraries, curling up with a good novel, or reading silly stories out, li out loud to children. Chair would accept a motion. So moved. moved. A second. Motion a second. I believe we have the executive director of the Shabber Township District Lobby. You want to come up and say a few words? The microphone there? Uh, lift the microphone up. On the podium. Oh, got it. Hi, I'm Monica Harris. I'm the executive director of the Schaumburg Township District Library. Thank you very much for the proclamation, and we thank the Village of Hoffman Estates for the great support of the library. I do want to encourage you, if you haven't yet visited our website, which launched in April, it's at schaumburglibrary.org. It's got a lot of great improvements to see. Great, and thank you very much for coming. All those in favor say aye. Aye. What was the ayes have a motion carried? you want to go shake hands with everybody? She was trying to kill you. You get a picture, Manny? Nobody gets out without a picture. Yeah, they don't get out. <laughs> no. You haven't noticed that yet. <laughs> All right, everybody ready? There we go. One, two, three. One more. One, two, three. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We are blessed with great libraries in Hoffman Estates area, and Chambre Township is one of the best. We have one more proclamation, I believe. Yes, we do. Office of the Mayor Proclamation. Whereas the Village of Hoffman Estates and its Commission for Senior Citizens are committed to helping all individuals maintain their health and independence later in life. And whereas, our senior citizens in the village strengthen our community by having an important role in sharing knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the history of our community through interactions with children, youth, adults from all generations. 
And whereas senior citizens' experience and wisdom connects, uh, connects us to the past and helps us to meet the challenge and, and of the present, whereas the interactions with family, friends, neighbors to invo in involvement, commissions to volunteering our senior citizens enrich the lives of everyone in our community. And whereas our community provides opportunities to enrich citizens of all ages through the following uh, emphasis, the value of including older adults in, pic in public and family life, creating opportunities for older residents to interact with people of different cultures and generations through our village commissions and programs, and provide services, technology, and support systems that allow older adults to participate in social activities in the community. Such as, such as Commission for Senior Citizens activities, various commissions activities, health and human services program, and coffee with the board. And whereas, as a village, we continue to show our support and appreciation to our treasured senior citizens who have contributed so much to our community. Be it therefore resolved that William D. McLeod, acting under and by virtue of the authority vested in him by the Constitution of the State of Illinois and the laws of this village of Hoffman Estates hereby proclaim Monday, August 21st, 2017, as National Senior Appreciation Day in the village of Hoffman Estates and urge all Hoffman Estates residents, businesses to take time on this day to engage with our excellent senior citizens. Chair, I'll accept a motion. So moved. I'll second. Motion is second. We appreciate all that the seniors have done for our great community. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, the ayes have a motion carried. Dr. Savidra, you will accept this and bring it to the luncheon, I'm sure. <laughs> yes, they will. I won't read it as well as Trusty Gator did, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be there. He can read it again. <laughs> okay, at this point, I ask for a motion to recess this meeting until the completion of the final committee meeting. Motion to recess. Second. It's motion to second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, the ayes have a motion carried. I would like to call back to order the Transportation <coughs> and Road Improvement Committee meeting for August 7th, 2017. And could we have another um, roll call to establish quorum? Chairperson Mills? Present. Vice Chair Stanton? Present. Trustee Arnett? Present. Trustee Newell? Present. Trustee Palafis? Present. Trustee Gata? Present. Mayor McLeod? Present. Thank you. We're all present. Uh, look for a motion to approve the minutes of July 3rd. So moved. I'll second. Any corrections or changes? Seeing none, all those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, the ayes have it. This evening, we just have two items under new business and one request authorization to award contract for the 2017 crack ceiling project to Beam Paving, Pavement Maintenance Incorporated of Crystal Lake, Illinois, low bid in an amount not to exceed $78,300. So moved. Second. Um, staff, did you wish to say anything on this? Just one quick item, and that's that we added a requirement this year for the first time for uh, dust control um, to be included with the uh, router, which is one of the so biggest sources of complaints we receive. Now, is that that's causing the bids to come in higher? Uh, we suspect that it is, and also uh, probably limited somewhat the response, although okay. everyone seemed to indicate that they knew where to find the equipment should they choose to um, submit a bid. Okay. And will we be reevaluating this after this year's requirement, see if Correct. it was worth it? Yes. Okay. Any questions or comments up here? Seeing none, all those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, the ayes have it. Number two, request acceptance of Transportation Division monthly report. So moved. I'll second. I have a motion and a second. Wish to highlight anything? How are we coming to on that tollway? What's that? <laughs> How are we coming on that ramp? <laughs> yes. It's August. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's supposed to be the end of the month. <laughs> okay. Got a couple more weeks, right? Right. We can hold you to that. <laughs> Anything you, you, you wish. You can try. <laughs> <laughs> I like Mr. Hankey. <laughs> to the same extent, we can hold the whole way. Yeah. Uh, nothing else. <laughs> Any questions or comments up here? Seeing none, all those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, the ayes have it. President's report? Uh, I'll wait for the uh, board meeting. Uh, is there anything else to come before this committee this evening? Seeing none, I look for a motion to adjourn. So moved. I'll second. All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, the ayes have it. I'm done. I'm not. Yeah. Uh, I am li 
asking that we call to order the Planning, Building, and Zoning Committee for this August 7, 2017. Roll call, please. Chairman Stanton. Present. Vice Chair Arnett. Present. Trustee Mills. Present. Trustee Newell. Present. Trustee Palafis. Present. Trustee Gata. Present. Mayor McLeod. Present. Thank you. We have a quorum. I'm looking for approval of the minutes of July 3rd, 2017. So moved. A second. Anybody notice any corrections or deletions that need to be made? Hearing and seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? The ayes have it. And also we're looking for approval of the minutes of July 17th, 2017. So moved. Second. Thank you. Anybody notice any corrections or deletions that need to be made in those minutes? Hearing and seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? The ayes have it. New business, we have five items. First, a request approval of the Community Development Block Grant, CDBG, Annual Action Plan for Program Year 12, 2017 to 2018. So moved. Thank you. Any discussion on that? Mark, do you want to just tell us what that's all about again? And we'll defer to uh, Ryan Johnson. Okay, Ryan. <laughs> This item, the CDBG grant, each year we must submit an annual plan to HUD and uh, the, the monies are for low to mod income residents. And this year we would commit $130,000 towards the streets and approximately $30,000 in, in carryover funds for the CAC, the Children's Advocacy Center uh, project. And what's a little bit different about this particular item is that this would be combined with funding from other villages as well as Cook County in order to provide a larger infrastructure repair uh, in the next year, uh, possibly two. So the $30,000 is our allocation towards it, but the total would be approximately $200,000, $215,000 in CDBG funding. Um, we also have the single family rehabilitation program. The SFR as we sometimes call it and uh, we're, we would put $97,300 towards that and that falls in line with our <coughs> consolidated plan, uh, our five-year plan. This is the third year out of the consolidated five-year plan and the uh, demand for that program has actually gone up quite a bit in this last year so last the last two years we've only completed just two um, single-family rehabilitations but uh, we have 11 people who are qualified for it right now that have applied so we've seen a market increase and that might have something to do with the um, market as well um, up until this last couple of years there probably wasn't as much equity in some people's houses but um, and then the final item is the program administration um, which goes towards staff time uh, for the planning Thank you. Anybody have any questions up here? I do have one in the sense that uh, CAC Center, that's $215,000 seems a lot for siding, windows, roof, and climate control system. And those are the main items, but it would be more comprehensive too. So it would also be accessibility. So um, if, if need be, changing some of the ramps um, and the roof may require more funding. Not necessarily all of that money would have to be spent. So if, if uh, there was not that much work, then not all of those funds would be uh, spent. Okay. All right, we have a motion and a second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? The ayes have it. Second, request approval of redevelopment agreement between the Village of Hoffman States, SVAP Hoffman Plaza, LP, SVAP Hoffman Plaza 2, LP, and SVAP Hoffman Plaza 4, EP, uh, no, LP, to redevelop the Hoffman Plaza Shopping Center. So moved. Thank you. Anna didn't sound so enthusiastic over there. Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> they don't want to sound too loud. Okay. Uh, now, Mark, do you want to do that, or is Ryan, or Kevin, okay. Let Kevin do this one. And, <laughs> I, and I will note a correction from the agenda as to the actual agreement itself. It's um, SVAP Hoffman Plaza, Hoffman Plaza 2, and 3 instead of 4. Okay. Um, so if we need to change the motion. Um, but 
I'll give you the quick rundown. You've probably seen Sterling's working on their phase one of the redevelopment of Hoffman Plaza over there, um, at least on the south side, um, working on the Burlington space. Um, phase two uh, would, would start with, uh, with the approval of this agreement, would start by Sterling uh, would have to acquire the Shell property. And then the other part of this agreement um, is that uh, there's some storm sewer, large storm sewer pipes that run under the property um, that are not in great shape and uh, will need replacing in the next couple of years here. And so this agreement uh, would also then provide uh, Sterling $900,000 to replace those pipes, which our engineers have given us a cost to replace in place. It would cost about $900,000. Uh, that money would come from the TIF and any funds when the project is completed that are not in the TIF would come from the general fund with um, uh, that would be repaid from the TIF funds with interest um, once there's, there's funding in the TIF. And uh, our staff projections show that by 2019 with the way that the TIF has been um, uh, it's just been doing better, and so it's been uh, collecting funds more recently that that money would be available in 2019. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought Sterling was trying to buy a shell for the last three years. Trustee Stan, they've had a contract. They just haven't closed pending this develop redevelopment agreement. Okay. And we expect that to happen quickly then? Uh, they're wanting to move quickly. The, the storm sewers are really the issue. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else with any other questions up here on the board? Anna? Just a quick question, then do we have to amend our motion? Because it's, you said four and Sure. Three. Yes. So I amend the motion. Second. To Thank you. All right, any other questions up here? All right, all of those in favor of the motion as amended, say aye. 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 Any opposed? The ayes have it. All right, leads us to the next topic, which is the request acceptance of the Department of Development Services monthly report for planning division. So moved. Second. Any questions on that? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? The ayes have it. Uh, four, request acceptance of Department of Development Services monthly report for code enforcement division. So moved. Second. Thank you. Uh, anybody notice any, well, do they have any questions up here on the panel? No? Okay. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? The ayes have it. And five, request acceptance of the Department of Development Services monthly report for economic development and tourism. So moved. Second. Anybody have any questions of Kevin? No? Okay. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? The ayes have it. President's report. I'll wait for the board meeting, Mr. Chair. Okay, and we have nothing in other items in review, so looking for a motion to adjourn. So moved. moved. Second. Thank you. Uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? The ayes have it. We are adjourned. Okay, I'd like to call the uh, General Administration and Personnel uh, Committee of Village of Hoppin Estates for August 7, 2017. Can I have a roll call, please? Chairperson Arnett. Present. Vice Chair Mills. Present. Trustee Stanton. Present. Trustee Newell. Present. Trustee Palafis. Trustee Gaeta. Present. Mayor McLeod. Present. Thank you. We now have a quorum. Um, can I get a motion for the approval of minutes for July 3rd, 2017? So moved. Second. Okay. Anyone have any questions or changes? All those in favor, favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Eyes have it. We have uh, six new businesses, six new items under new business. <laughs> uh, number one, request approval of a resolution increasing membership on the Arts Commission from 15 to 19. So moved. Second. Okay. Any questions? Okay, seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Eyes have it. Number two, request approval of a resolution relating to the participation by elected officials in the Illinois Municipal Retirement Fund. So moved. Second. Anything, anyone have anything to add? 
Questions, staff? This is just a new requirement of IMRF. It will be, I think, every two years they're going to ask for the resolution to be done in an affirmative manner which positions are eligible. In this case, the clerk and the village president. Okay, thank you. Okay. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. <coughs> Number three, request approval to dispose of village records that have exceeded their state required retention period. So moved. Second. Okay, anyone have anything to add? Ms. Rachel? This is just our annual request for approval to get um, our dispose of records that are allowable by the state retention policies, and uh, we just bring this before the board so that you're knowledgeable of what we're going to be disposing of. Okay. Thank you. Okay, anybody else? Okay. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Number four, request acceptance of cable TV monthly report. So moved. Second. Okay, any questions? Okay, seeing none, all those in favor, favor but signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Number five, request acceptance of human resources management monthly report. So moved. Second. Okay, any questions? Seeing none, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Request acceptance of legislative operations and outreach monthly report. So moved. Second. Okay, any questions? Okay, seeing none, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. President's report? I'll wait for the board meeting. Okay, uh, seeing nothing in other, nothing in items to review, I have a motion for adjournment? So moved. Second. Thank you. We are adjourned. All right. I would like to call the Special Public Works and Utilities Committee to order for August 7th. May I have a roll call, please? Chairperson Newell. Present. Vice Chair Gata. Present. Trustee Palafis. Trustee Mills. Present. Trustee Stanton. Present. Trustee Arnett. Present. Mayor McLeod. Present. A quorum on all accounted for. Under our new business, we only have one item. It's uh, the request approval of an ordinance prohibiting the use of groundwater as a potable water supply by the installation or use of potable water supply wells or by any other method. So moved. Second. We have we a motion and a second. Um, we need to amend that, don't we? Pardon me? There needs Mayor. to be an amendment to that motion. Uh, yes. Yes, I'm sorry. You're 100 percent right. I forgot about that. Okay, there is an amendment on the dais um, with that. So, should I call for another motion? You could ask the motion maker to accept that this ordinance is the one that's the been correct. referred that he's referring to, as stated. Uh, Second, as uh, amended. As amended. Okay. Any questions, uh, Mayor Bill? What is this all about? So um, I was going to ask that too. There was a um, hazardous material leak at this address as part of the Illinois EPA's requirements to get a NFR, no further remediation letter. They require, regardless of whether you're on Lake Michigan water or not, a uh, ordinance from the local municipality that we will not allow them to put wells on the property because of the potential of contamination of the groundwater supply. Uh, we have talked to the IEPA about this. This is the third instance of this during my tenure with the village, and each time we've told them we have an ordinance that prohibits wells for potable consumption outright. You can't do it anywhere in the village. That doesn't matter. They want one for the specific location in question in their files. When the board passed the original ordinance on May 1st, it had two exhibits. One was an address map description, and one was a legal. There was a slight conflict between the legal and the map. The Illinois EPA rejected that and has said that they would be happy with it with just the uh, map and without the legal and that's in what's in front of you now. So the ordinance that was on the dais is one that repeals the ordinance passed May 1st and offers that ordinance if passed in lieu thereof to take its place, which then would be sent to the Illinois EPA and fulfill the requirements so the property gets an NF, uh, its NFR. Does this get covenanted? This is another one of these for the eternity. No one could ever put a well there. It, it, it's, well, I don't know if it's for eternity, Mater, but it's certain so they can't do anything without Illinois EPA's approval. 
Now that 20, 50, 100 years from now, that could change. But yes, it is. It goes on the title of the property. So any for future purchaser um, or redeveloper has notice. Why does the IEPA just do this and why do we have to do it? Because we are the municipal water authority and they're not. Okay. It's still very confusing. It is and it's frankly, it's a typical Illinois agency and I hate to get on my soapbox <laughs> requiring arcane steps to accomplish something that's already covered. Okay, thank you. Off my soapbox. <laughs> Seeing no other questions. We have a motion and a second with the amended. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. No nays. Motion passed. May I have a motion to adjourn, please? So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. No nays. Motion passed. We are adjourned. Does anybody want a short break before we commence again with the meeting? Or Okay. Let's do, uh, let's try to get back here by eight. It's like four or five minutes. I'd like to um, bring the village board meeting back to um, fruition here. Can you call the role, Madam Clerk, to reestablish re a quorum? Trustee Gata. Present. Trustee Arnett. Present. Trustee Mills. Present. Trustee Newell. Present. Trustee Palafas. Trustee Stanton. Present. Mayor McLeod. Present. We'll start up where we left off. Number four, approval of the minutes of July 17th, 2017 meeting. Is there a so motion? moved. Second. Second. There's a motion, a second. Any discussion on the minutes? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, the ayes have a motion carried. We have a consent agenda. Chair would accept a motion. So moved. Is there a second. second? There's a motion, a second. Uh, any questions on any of these? The items on here are the A, approval of the agenda, B, approval of the schedule of bills for August 7th, 2017, to the tune of $4,718,180.86. C, request board approval and ordinance granting a special use to Golf Car Wash Inc. owner and Route 21 Auto Wash in detail, contract purchaser applicant 105 East Gulf Road, and four, request board approval and ordinance granting a master sign plan under section 9-3-8-M-13 of the zoning code for the property located at 105 East Gulf Road. Uh, you want to call a roll, Madam Clerk? Trustee Gata. Aye. Trustee Arnett. Aye. Trustee Mills. Aye. Trustee Newell. Aye. Trustee Stanton. Aye. Mayor McCarthy. All right, motion carry. We'll go back down to President's report. There's a few things. Uh, one of them in receipt of a letter it's sent to um, Director of Public Works, Joe Nebel. Joe, thanks for the prompt pickup. We were returning from Ohio and we were on Schomburg Row when the storm hit. The tree damage was heavier than usual and limbs and branches were all over Western Street near home. I took a chance on a prompt pickup and piled and raked a large amount of debris in my curb lawn. Had you not been prompt with the pickup, my curb lawn grass would have been ruined. You guys did a good job clean up of the mess. Tell them thanks. Thank you, Joe. You guys always do great work. Uh, we haven't met in a while, so there are a few things that have happened in the interim. Uh, Tuesday the 18th, we had the Village Green Ad Hoc Committee meeting. And um, on Wednesday the 19th, uh, the Commission for Senior Citizens had, their, uh, had one of their luncheons. And I want to thank... Um, Trustee Newell for going to the special JAWA meeting for me that evening, Wednesday the 19th. Thursday the 30th, as I said earlier, I did throw out the first pitch at the Boomers game and I did get it over the plate. Uh, of course, Trustee Stanton wasn't there to verify that, so you may not believe me. Uh, Saturday the 22nd, we had the Fit for America Fest, kicking off early in the morning and the weather cleared up. It was raining when we got there, but then it cleared up. And we had the first block party ever in Bergman Estates uh, that afternoon. Most of us were able to, to attend that. Sunday the 23rd, we had the Sunderledge Open House. On the 24th, uh, we went to Hanover Park for the Next Level Northwest meeting, the soft launch of that. And on the 26th, I got to meet the new pastor of uh, Church of the Cross along with the trustee Stanton. Um, they're having a, actually having a picnic on Thursday night at 6.30 if anybody wants to stop by. And that evening we had the Wine Wednesday at the Beer Garden, which was also another really good event. On Friday the 28th, I participated in the Transportation Infrastructure Structure Committee call for the uh, National League of Cities. And on the 29th, we had the Streamwood Summer Celebration Parade. It's always a great event. The Barrington Square Improvement Association. Thank you, the two Karens. 
And we had a block party on um, Thornburg. And Sunday the 30th, I was one of the judges for the Wing Fest for, uh, for Waco over at uh, The Drink in Schemberg. And uh, on the 4th, we uh, went to uh, the Schomburg Target on Barrington Road to pack school supplies for uh, the township, for the schools that are be opening very shortly. Saturday the 5th, we had a party in the park, and we had um, a block party on Evergreen, and we had my grandson's ninth birthday party also. And this afternoon, I participated in a pension fair in Fairness Coalition call with uh, Manager Norris, and we had some promotions, and we had a reception for the new folks um, this evening. And that's all I have. We'll go to trustee comments, and we'll start with Trustee Arnett. Thank you. Um, on July 26th, I did attend the Northwest Municipal Conference, the newly elected um, class that they have. Um, very informative, very good. Um, very nice people, um, and I look forward to going to the next one, which is this this Wednesday. Um, and then on Sunday, I also supported uh, Mayor McLaren in going to the Wing Fest for a little bit. Um, very interesting, um, but it was very nice. Um, and just attending the uh, promotions and the swearing ins of the new officers tonight. Congratulations to them all, and that's all I have. Okay, Trustee Stanton. Thank you. Uh, on the nineteenth of July, I attended the July luncheon sponsored by the Commission for Senior Citizens, and once again, they had some great food that they supplied to the seniors. On the 29th of July, I uh, walked into the Streamwood Summer Celebration Parade with others here. On the 29th of July also, I attended the Barrington Square Improvement Association's annual picnic, and we did miss Karen. Yeah, was she was stuck in the Nobody office, yeah. <laughs> uh, then, I, that same day, we attended the black party at uh, 4413 Thornbark Court. On the 5th of August, I was able to attend the party in the park, uh, which was in Fabrini's Park there on uh, Glen Lake. And uh, it was well done by the Hoffman Estates Park District. And on the 5th also, we did an early stop at the black party at 665 Evergreen Lane. They hadn't quite set up yet, but we were there. <laughs> And uh, congratulations to the new officers and to those promoted. Thank you. Trustee Mills. Thank you. I also attended the senior luncheon on the 19th of July. I'm sorry I couldn't stay for the entire uh, talk afterwards. It was about the Our Lady of the Angels fire back in 57, 58, something <coughs> yeah, like that. Yeah. Had relatives in that fire, so it's kind of brought it back home. Um, on the 23rd, I um, attended the Sunderledge Open House. And the committee did a great job with that event, as always. On the 29th, I want to thank everyone for uh, attending, even though I missed you, uh, the Barrington <laughs> Square Improvement Association's open house. They had me busy working inside. And uh, thank you to Karen Arnett for all her help that day, too, getting it going. And not to uh, miss August 1st, where she or organized a great National Night Out for Barrington Square, and many of you attended that also. Thank you. Thanks to the police department and the fire department for helping out and attending that day. Um, I thought it was cute. One of the, there were a bunch of Cub Scouts or Boy Scouts there, and they happened to mention the firemen that they needed, they were trying to get signed off on a stop, drop, and roll uh, badge. And the firemen did a class right there for them and signed off for them. So it was a great event for them all. Um, also attended on the 24th of July, the uh, Next Level Northwest Soft Launch, and congratulations to Kevin Kramer for doing a great job that day. It was very informative. Um, congratulations and best wishes to uh, Lieutenant Kasha Colley and Sergeant Scott Lawrence. I think by the outpouring of support they had here tonight, they should be very proud of uh, the jobs they do. And that's it. Thank you. Hey, Trustee Newell. Okay, this is going to be kind of a long one, so sorry. Um, because it's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> so on the 19th, as uh, the mayor had mentioned, yes, uh, I attended the uh, Jawa meeting. On the 20th and the 27th, I uh, did some uh, Village Green listening to the summer sounds. And just to say that this week, Thursday, will be the last Village Green. I'll have to find something else to do on Thursdays. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, on the 22nd, I uh, attended the Black Party uh, at Bergman Farm, which was uh, 3540 LC Lane, uh, huge turnout. 
uh, on the 23rd, of course, Sunderleg uh, Open House, which they did an amazing job, uh, thanks to the commission. They had all kinds of tools and things, and I can't even imagine using some of those things. So uh, on the 29th, we had, of course, the Streamwood Parade. And thank you to the two Karens on that same day because they had the Barrington Square Annual Picnic. Did I say that right? <laughs> I know it was kind of long. So they did a real good job, a lot of fun. It was good to see them. Uh, sorry we missed you, Karen. It's okay. Number two, Mills, <laughs> but, you know, we, we did look for you. Uh, we also attended the Black Party at 4413 Thornbark. Then on uh, National Night Out, we did the Barrington Square, which is always a lot of fun. Good turnout, thanks to the police and fire that were out there. Um, the kids all have a real good time. The music, which you guys put together, the food, they, they just have a really good time. And then we go up to uh, Lincoln Prairie, which uh, all the guys are done with their football, so they're all out there and having a really good time. So. And the fourth was pack the bus, school supplies, as the mayor had said, uh, for children in uh, our district and school areas. Um, and then we also went to the Eagle Scout for uh, William Squires. Then on the fifth, it was the party in the park. And then, as uh, Trustee Stanton said, we got a little early to uh, the black party at 665 Evergreen. Um, I want to also say thank you, kind of like a shout out to Public Works, Fire, and Police, that after the storm, they really helped a lot of people, and also um, by the township. I mean, we had water coming like a river and a massive flood, so uh, thank you to everybody that all jumped in, pitched in, and helped everybody. Um, once again, this Thursday is Last Village Green. Uh, just a reminder, I hope you don't mind, Joe. Uh, on the 19th, uh, since we're not meeting yet, we're going to have our big recycle event. So I just want to throw that out there. So if you're cleaning house before or after the kids get out of the house, bring it. Um, and then congrats to all our police officers. And I think that's all I have. I'm done, finally. Yeah. That was a lot. Trustee Gata. Absolutely. I'm always getting pick, ping, picking up the rear. <laughs> <laughs> on Tuesday, uh, July 18th, I have a, a Village Greenhawk. Uh, committee meeting that was uh, conducted here. Then on Wednesday the 19th, the Senior Citizens Luncheon. That uh, again was at um, the Village Hall here. And the um, Senior Citizens Commissions, they really do an excellent job every time for that. Then on Saturday the 22nd, attended the block party at Birmingham Farms, 3540 uh, Ellis uh, Lane. Sunday, the 23rd, attended the burial services for Dar Don Arnett. Um, and uh, Wednesday, the 26th, Wine Wednesday at the Beer Garden. On the 29th, the Streamwood Summer Celebration Parade, which almost all of us were there. Also, we attended on the same day, the Saturday, Barrington Square Association Annual Picnic. And then also, we had gone to um, the block party that was on 4413 on deck court. Then on Tuesday, August 1st, the National Night Out, we went to Barrington Square Clubhouse, and then from there we had gone to uh, Lincoln School, uh, Lincoln Prairie School for it. Uh, then on Friday, the 4th, attended the uh, Pack the Bus that was at Target in Schaumburg, and then also on Friday that we attended the Eagle Court of Honor for William F. Squires the 4th which was at Prince of Peace Lutheran Church on Higgins. That's all I have, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you very much. Move on to a 6C Village Manager's Report. Uh, no report tonight, sir. Thank 6D you. Village Clerk's Report. I need a break from writing, so there's no more. I'm not writing anything else down. Um, during the month of July, 156 FOIAs went through, and we processed 38 passports. That is it. Okay. Move on to e, committee reports. You going to handle finance, Trustee Newell? Uh, yes, we will have a finance on uh, August 21st at 7 p.m. There will be a roll call and approval of minutes from July 17, 2017. And under new business, there will be three items, which will mostly be monthly reports for the finance department, the information system department, and the Sears Center monthly report. Uh, and if there's anything for president's report, <coughs> we'll have that. <coughs> Nothing under other or items in review, and then we will adjourn.
And then you'll roll into the Public Works and Utilities Committee meeting, won't you? Okay, uh, immediately following that finance, uh, on that same day, we'll have another roll call, approval of minutes from July 17, 2017, and under new business, two items, uh, which are, once again, monthly reports, one for Department of Public Works, and the other one will be the Department of Development Services. Uh, if anything additional for President's report, nothing under other items in review, and then we'll adjourn. Thank you very much. Public Health and Safety, Trustee Gata. Yes, following the Public Works and Utilities, the Public Health and Safety Committee will hold their meeting on August 21st, 2017. We will have a roll call. Approval of the minutes of July 17, 2017. Under new business, we have six items. Item number one, request authorization to enter into an update intergovernmental agreement with the May Major Case Assistance Team, Matt Cat. Two, request authorization to extend the existing contract for the Village Nuisance Wildlife Control to ABC Humane Wildlife, Schaumburg, Illinois, for a period of one year. Three, four, five, and six are monthly reports. The Police Department monthly report, Health and Human Services monthly report, Emergency Management Coordinator monthly report, Fire Department monthly report. We'll have a President's report if there's anything in other or items in review, and we will then adjourn. Thank you. We'll move on to seven planning and zoning commission report because our uh, long suffering chair of planning and zoning want to come forward and present your report. Planning and zoning. 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 Planning and I can get it. Okay. Yeah, you got, got it. it. Oh, you, you got, got it. it. Yep. Yep. It's off. Yeah, it went off. we want you. Check one, two, one, two. Check. Good. He's got Good. the magic touch. What he does. <laughs> Planning and Zoning Commission recommended for approval a request by Sharon and Michael Gavrilos for a 10-foot corner side yard setback variation from section 9-3-3-C-2 to allow a six-foot high solid fence to be five feet from the northeastern property line instead of the minimum required 15 feet at 3991 Whispering Trail Drive. Nine A's, one nay, one absent. Chair, would accept a motion. So moved. Is there a second? Second. It's a motion a second. Any questions on this item? I do have a question. Yes, Trustee Stanton. I do have a question. Uh, the picture that I saw where there's a red box, yeah, yeah. yeah that's where the fence would be? I, I mean, from don't the have a packet in front of me, so I can't tell you. Can you come up and identify yourself, sir? I'm Michael Gavrilo, that lives at 399 Whispering, 3991 Whispering Trails Drive. Sharon, Sharon Gavrilo is his son. So if there's any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. Trustee Stanton? Well, the, the red box that I mentioned, that was where you initially asked for uh, the fence to be. To, it goes all the way from like the side of your front house to, or is that the back? I guess that's the no, back. Take a picture. Uh, take, take a look at the, the sheet that you're looking at. Um, the sheet that I have, I just have a blue line. This one right here. It's on, looks like it's on the side. Yeah, I guess it is the side. Yeah, this is where we. Right, we'll need asked. you in the microphone though. <clears throat> that's what I originally had proposed for, um, and there I got three denials on that. So I had asked the board if I could do a five foot setback. So that line should be five feet from the sidewalk. Okay, I was concerned that that was in the front of the house. No, that's, <coughs> uh, that's my backyard okay. and side. Oh. All right, so I understand that a little bit better now. Okay, thank you. Are there any other questions? No. Any other questions? Can you pull the board, Madam Clerk? Trustee Gata? Aye. Trustee Arnett? Aye. Trustee Mills? Aye. Trustee Newell? Aye. Trustee Stanton? Aye. Mayor McLeod? Aye. Motion carried. Sorry. Yes. Yes. Thank you.
Planning and Zoning Commission recommended for approval a request by SVAP Hoffman Plaza LP owner and Kimley Horn and Associates applicant to consider a preliminary and final plat of subdivision for Hoffman Plaza located at the northeast corner of Higgins Road and Roselle Road. The vote was 10 A's, one absent. Chair, sure accept a motion. So moved. Second. So motion and second. Any questions on this, Trustee Mills? Do you need an additional condition on this, I believe, according to the memo we have in our packet? Uh, we need to add a, a condition that approval is subject to receiving the plat with all required signatures within seven days of this approval. And I'll make that motion to, to add that to the original motion. Is that okay with the seconder? Uh, I, I concur. Why okay. didn't make the motion itself? Okay, well, is that okay with whoever did? <laughs> Mark made the motion and Trustee Stanton made the second. Okay, right. with me for second. Okay. okay. Alrighty. Do we need a second on Karen's motion? Well, if it's accepted. If it's accepted, it's accepted, it's accepted fine. to them, that's, that's fine. fine. Just put it we in there as a condition. Okay, so that the motion is as amended mm -hmm. by Trustee Mills. <coughs> Are there any questions on this at all? Seeing none, can you pull the board, Madam Clerk? Trustee Gata? Aye. Trustee Arnett? Aye. Trustee Mills? Aye. Trustee Newell? Aye. Trustee Stanton? Aye. Mayor McLeod? Aye. Motion carried. Planning and Zoning Commission recommended for approval a request by Village of Hoffman Estates owner to consider preliminary and final plat of subdivision for the property located at 75 and 85 East Gulf Road. Um, the vote was 10 A's, 1 absent. Chair would accept the motion. So moved. Second. So motion is second. Any questions on this one? Seeing none, can you call the roll, Madam Clerk? Trustee Gata? Aye. Trustee Arnett? Aye. Trustee Mills? Aye. Trustee Newell? Aye. Trustee Stanton? Aye. Mayor McLeod? Aye. Motion carried. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you for your commission. Move on to additional business. What's the desire of the committee? Can you pull B, please? Okay, so we'll pull B. Anyone else want anything else pulled? Otherwise, I'll make a motion to approve by omnibus votes items 8A, C, D, E, F, G, and H. Okay, as a motion for an omnibus vote, is there a second? Second. Motion to second. This is for 8A C, C through, through H. H. There's a motion. There's a second. All in favor of the animals vote say aye. 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 Opposed, the ayes have a motion carried. Do we have a motion? <coughs> so moved. Is there a second? Second. We have a motion and a second. The items we're talking about here is A, request board approval of an ordinance permitting the use of groundwater as a potable water supply by the installation or use of potable water supply wells or by any other method. C, request board approval of a resolution creating the Arts Commission of the Village of Hoffman Estates in increase in membership. D, request board approval of a resolution relating to participation by elected officials in the Illinois Municipal Retirement Fund. E, request board approval to suppose the village records have exceeded their state required retention period. F, request board authorization to award contract for the 2017 crack ceiling project to BEM Payment Maintenance Inc., Crystal Lake, Illinois, low bid in amount not to exceed $78,300. G, request board approval of the Community Development Block Grant CDBG Annual Action Plan for program year 12, 2017, 2018. H, request board approval of a redevelopment agreement between the Village <coughs> of Hoffman Estates, SVAP Hoffman Plaza LP, SVAP Hoffman Plaza 2 LP, and SVAP Hoffman Plaza 3 LP to redevelop the Hoffman Plaza Shopping Center. Um, please yes. reflect on my motion that Item um, A is as amended in the original motion. Okay. We amended that earlier. Is that yeah. amended from committee? Yeah. It's amended from committee. Okay. Are there any questions on any of these items? Seeing none, can you pull the board, Madam Clerk? Trustee Gata. Aye. Trustee Arnett. Aye. Trustee Mills. Aye. Trustee Newell. Aye. Trustee Stanton. Aye. Mayor McLeod. Aye. Motion carried. We got 8B, request board approval of an ordinance amending session 8-3-22. Number of licenses of Article 3 alcoholic liquors of the Hoffman Estates <coughs> Municipal Code. Increase in number of Class A licenses, MKR Cafes, LLC. Doing business as Cash Banana, 2326 Hassle Road. An increase in number of Class B licenses, Hoffman Liquors, Inc., 2306 Hassle Road. Is there a motion? So I'll move. Thank you. There's a motion and a second. Any questions on this one? Trustee Newell. Um, I just wanted to ask on that one from the 2306, do we have to wait until we receive that information before we can do that one? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, oh. Yes, it should also be conditioned upon our receiving from the police department the fingerprint check results. Right. Okay. 
So that would be part of the motion. Yes. That's what it was approved in committee. Right. Okay. Or at the liquor. At the liquor commission, yes. Hmm. Anything else? <coughs> We're just making changes all over the place yeah, tonight. No, <laughs> if there's nothing else, can you pull the board, Madam Clerk? Trustee Gata. Aye. Trustee Arnett. No. Trustee Mills. No. Trustee Newell. Aye. Trustee Stanton. Aye. Mayor McLeod. Aye. Motion carried. The chair would accept a motion to adjourn. I moved. Second. second. Motion to second. Any discussion on that? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have a motion carried. We are adjourned. <laughs>